In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a haul. Now it's from three different areas or three different stores, rather say. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, you know what to do. Stick around. Okay, now I have stuff from Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, the Dollar Tree. I think that's it. Yeah, those three places. So we're going to start with the Dollar Tree. Okay, now you're going to hear some rattling because some of the stuff is in bags and still in the packages that I purchased them. Maybe I should start with Facebook Marketplace. Cause it's not that much from there. So I'm going to start from Facebook marketplace. Now I saw, um, an, or, um, an ad on the Facebook marketplace for some toppers for, uh, cups and stuff. So the lady makes these, it looks like whipped cream with a little hearts in it and two straws, a pink and a red one and a heart on it for Valentine's day. So I purchased this and, uh, she made these for me and we made this. And it hadn't came yet. So then I checked my messages and she said that her mother had had a stroke and that she was sorry that she was late on fixing it. And I told her to take her time because family comes first, because that's just the way I think about things. You know, family is very important. And besides, it was a mother. So I told her to take her time. Whenever I got it, I got it. It didn't matter. Even if it came after Valentine's, I didn't care because, you know, take care of your family. So. She sent it, this beautiful thing, and then because she said I was being so nice and understanding, she sent me these three uh, marshmallows with the chocolate and the hearts on them. She sent those to me for free. Ain't they pretty? So I'll be using those uh, for Valentine's Day. And the other thing is for Valentine's Day, what I did was, you know, you have a mind where you think about, OK, this is my plan for spring or this is my time I plan for Valentine's. And you come up with an idea. Well, I did that. And then, girl, you know what I did? I thought, OK, you know what? I'm going to change it to something totally different. And I forgot that I had ordered the napkin rings for the first vision. Yeah. So on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, I found some napkin rings that I really thought were really, really pretty. So I ordered the set. OK, it's a set of eight. Yeah, it's a set of eight. There's two of each color and they look like these little rain uh, water pails. The napkin goes through the hoop. So you have it in lavender. I have two in this green. Then two in this pink and then two in this pretty shade of blue. Well, I had that in mind to do my spring tablescape in. But since I changed my mind completely and I have forgot I had ordered this, I'm going to do a second table, I think, on my breakfast table and use these so they will get used. OK, so now we're going to jump to the Dollar Tree. Now, I went in the Dollar Tree and I was looking for, um, what was I looking for? I went in there looking for some of the, the new dads they had out for Valentine's Day. And I went in there and I ran across some things that of old, excuse me, what I mean of old, what came out last year, everybody was crazy about it. But when I went to mine, they wasn't there. And I kept going back every day, every day, every day. And came back on their truck days to see if they had got them in, you know, and they still hadn't come in. And then I got sick and I was sick for like three days. And what happened? The truck came on the first day I got sick. Everybody snatched them up on the second day. So when I came in on the fourth day, of course, there were none. Even the guy in the store who was going to try to save me some, he said he had to pull them out. The manager found them and pulled them out and they sold them. So I didn't get to get any. And that was these apples. Y'all remember these apples came out last year. Well, I went in there and I saw first day I went in there and I saw three white ones. So there were no other ones. It was three white ones and one green one. So I was like, and one gold. And I'm not really a gold girl, so I didn't pick up the gold one. But what I did was I picked up the three white ones. And I said, well, it's only one green one. I don't want it, blah, blah, blah. So I went back. Uh, 
I think it was two days later, and they had four green ones and a red one and no more white. So I'm still on the hunt for like uh, three more white ones and two more green ones. But I did get the four green ones. Oh, let me show you. They're in the bag. So here's two, three, and four green ones. And then I picked up the red one. Now the white ones are in use in the decor in the, um, on my bar cart. I forgot to grab them when I sat down. So I have the red one red and then I have the four green ones. I'm gonna put them back in the sack so I do not mess them up and they can stay together until I store them. Yes. Okay, those are my apples. And then the next thing I did was I picked up two other red uh, coffee cups because I'm going to be using these uh, for my coffee station. I have a small coffee station, so I never get more than two to three glasses of uh, coffee cups rather to go on my coffee station because my coffee station is very small. Let me move around some. I'm getting uncomfortable here. All right. So then I stopped in. And I saw these little, um, what do you call these things? You know my mind, cake stands, little cupcake stands. And I got one white one and one pink one. They had a red one, but I really didn't want the red one. I just wanted to get the white and pink. And do you know I saw on Facebook Marketplace, some ladies had these on there. And you know they cost a dollar and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. They had them for five dollars. On Facebook Marketplace, these same ones. You know your girl ain't paying no five dollars for that when I know they came from the Dollar Tree. Come on now. So then I ran into uh, their little signs they have this year. They have some cute ones this year, and I did buy quite a few. Didn't realize in two trips I had bought so many, but I did. I bought this little house that said "Loves Live Here." I thought this was really cute. And I got this black, white, and red one that says love. I got this red one that says love. I got this pink one that says be mine. Then I got this copper one with the red and purplish looking heart in the middle that says love you. Now, I think these signs they have this year are really cute. And I can't wait to use these signs in the kitchen this year. I think they're going to be really pretty in there this year. So keep a lookout for my uh, coffee station and um, my vignette in the kitchen. Because th you'll see those signs in there. All right. Then I found this little jar they had in there. that They had a white and a black one. I only wanted one white one. I should have got another one. I should have made it a two. Don't know why I didn't do it that way, but that's what I did. And then I saw these little garlands in there and I picked up some of those. Let me show you those. Let me get them out the sack. OK, they have the red ones with the little berries on them. The red ones, they have glitter on them. I got two of those. Here's the second one. And then they have the pearl white ones. I think they're so pretty. I got two of those. That's one. Here's the second one. And then I got the lavender one. And I only have one. I don't know why I'd only get two. I'm going to go back and see if I can find another one. And then they have the pink ones. And they have a little glitter on them. I got two of those. Here's the second one. And then what I found was this little mailbox. I thought it was too cute. The mailbox is a metal mailbox. They had some that were um, the galvanized looking with the hearts on them, but I didn't want that. I wanted this red one. So I got that one. Excuse the noise. I'm trying to keep everything together. Okay, move that over there. And from the Dollar Tree, what else do we have? Um, oh, they have some new candle holders at the Dollar Tree. And they're these here. 
they have that and then you can put them on the bottom too i'm going to try to see if i can get it at the bottom but it's cute i bought these because i was going to do a diy i'm not sure if i'm still going to do the diy but i did buy them anyway i bought three of those as you see here's two and here's one here so i got three of those and then i got this candle holder here it's going to be part of the diy that i was thinking about doing and then I purchased this round plate here from the Dollar Tree and then the square one. I was thinking of doing a DIY with these three objects here. Not sure if I'm still going to do it. I'm contemplating back and forward if I'm going to do it or not. And I'm really not sure right now if I'm going to do it. I bought three bags of moss. And right here I'm going to clip in what I did with the moss. Now, what I did was I took the three bags and I put them at the bottom of this flower arrangement. Now, the orchids, they were purchased off of Amazon and it came four sticks or four bushes of, of orchids in one package. It had the two leaves at the bottom. They came from Amazon. Now, in it, I have a green, the foam plant from um, the plant foam from the Dollar Tree. And then the glass container that it's in, I've had that for years. I bought that in, um, I think back in the early 90s, I think um, it had floating candles in it when I bought it. So I've had that a long time and it looks really pretty with this arrangement. So now I also purchased from the Dollar Tree was these yellow tulips. Now I think they did really good with the tulips this year. Last year they didn't look too sweet, but I got these yellow tulips this year. From there, I got three of them. Nope, I lied. I got five. Here's one and here is another one. I got five tulips. Now my plan was to put these in my girl's hair. You know my girl hair changes with the season. My girl out front. Excuse the rattling. So my girl's hair changes with the season. So as you see, I'm doing yellow this year for spring. So I had um, was going to use the yellow tulips for her hair. And then I realized something I ordered from Amazon. Your girl needs to write down what she ordered so she won't double things like I do sometimes. Do y'all have that problem where you order something from Amazon and you go somewhere else, you pick it something else up for the same project? Have you done that? Let me know down below if you've done that. Let me know. I'm not the only one that does that. Just, just let a girl feel good. Let me know down below. All right, so now we're going to switch over to Amazon. Now, my husband said I need to buy stock in Amazon. Because <laughs> I get so much from Amazon. <laughs> I might need to invest in Amazon and buy stock as much as I buy from them. Okay, here I got, uh, I bought these little books with the hearts. I ordered that from Amazon to go on my tear tray. I got that. And then I ordered these. Where did I open it at? Open it at the top. I ordered this bag of these and what it is is they're little knobs because I was going to do a DIY with them. I'm going to show you one. Okay, it's a little knob. It's a little knob like this. See the knob? It's the little crystal knob, the gold base. Well, that's what I purchased. And it came like 10 of them in this package for like six bucks. So I ordered that. I was gonna use these in a DIY. I still might, I don't know, but I still might. Okay, so excuse the noise, I'm trying to move stuff around. Then I ordered, I'm gonna show my disappointments first. Yeah, I ordered some candles, yellow candles. 
and when I opened the package that they were in, the box wasn't taped closed. So they're broken. 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 I'm going to take these and drop these off today so my I can get my new ones in from Amazon. And then the other thing is uh, my dining room table, my formal dining room, it always has four chairs in it. And I've always wanted a six chair table. Well, I looked on Google and I saw my table and someone had moved the legs around a little different and made it a six seater. So that's what I did. And I ordered, I have two old chairs out in the garage from the first time I set that table up. And I brought two of those table, those two chairs in and they have brown slip covers on them. So I wanted to get some to match the chairs I have now. Now, mind you, my glass top, my table in there is all glass legs and all. Now I've seen since seen that table on sale online and it's like $1,500 for that table, but I paid $25 for mine at Goodwill. Yeah. Now I ordered chair covers for them. Does this look like this? They don't look like that. Now on the cup, on the picture, it looked like that. I can't put this on there with my chairs that look like this. So I'm sending this back and figuring it out. Right now they have the brown covers on them. So these are my two. Ugh. The can broke candles and they came in the wrong color. Now, the next thing I want to show you is something I got for Valentine's Day. And I saw these wooden hearts. All right, here's one that's wood that's red on both sides. It's this one here that has pink, the two shades of pink in it. It's solid pink on the back and the plaid pink on the front with the different colors. It has a light pink and a darker hot pink on it. This one here is the pink on both sides. And then it's red on the back or is that a that's sort of a hot pink and then here inside it has the two shades here i bought that for valentine's and then uh, i fell in love with these flowers when i did a my last year when i did my spring i fell in love with these flowers then so i ordered some more in a different color some peonies these are uh, a shades of pink that i'm going to be using on my tablescape for Valentine's. So it comes with two in a package. So here's one here and then this one, it comes with two. I love this company's flowers. They always look so real and so pretty. The next thing I got from Amazon is, when I said I ordered two things for the one project, yeah, for my girl's hair. I normally, I found this company that has some flowers that they're plastic all the way, plastic all. And these work better in her hair outside because if they get dirty, all I do is run water on them and shake them. The other ones, they are not that way. They get, they, they stand up to the weather, but then they look kind of ooky and I just throw them away. But these here, I can use these year round and it came with four in this bag. So instead of the tulips, I'm going to use these. And then the tulips, I'm going to put them on my, uh, make my wreath with the tulips. Also, I ordered some of these moss balls. It's six in a pack. And I think they were like $6 or something like that. Um, Cause I have something coming in the mail I ordered. And those are going to go inside. Now this I could kick myself for. I thought it said three candles. But it says three, three inch candles. I didn't read it. The girl was reading in a hurry and saw they were yellow and one candle. So of course I ordered some more. They're due in today. <laughs> so then I ordered, you know, I'm a pillowcase, pillow cover girl, because I don't have no room for no pillows. Mm -mm. I can't store all those pillows. I, I can't do it. So I get pillow covers. So this is what I found. I found this set. It's a set of four. And they are so pretty. It came this style here. Let me move back so the light can get on it. This one here. And then the back is neutral. All of them, the back is neutral on this set. It came with this pattern here. If you can see it. And it came... 
with this pattern. And this one here that says, what does it say? Oh, it says home sweet home. I thought these were pretty. The set of four, they're going to be used in um, most likely my family room for the spring and in the summer because I'm going to try to keep the yellow up for spring and summer. Reason why I'm not changing the yellow out is we may be moving during the summer and that way I don't have extra extra to deal with. I'm trying to be nice. Let me put this back in this box. And then in the last thing in this box is why I changed my mind on the napkin rings I showed you earlier, the ones that like the water pails, is because I found these yellow peony napkin rings. Aren't they pretty? I found these. It's a set of four, but I did order another set. And it's due today too. <laughs> So I'm going to have eight yellow peonies to put on the table. Let me put this stuff back in here. Oh, Valentine's. Yeah. Put this all back in this box. Okay. And the next box is where I have the yellow peonies now they need to be fluffed out some but here are my yellow peonies that i'm going to be using and this is a total different company and so the other company that I normally deal with they didn't have any yellow peonies so i got these yellow peonies to go on my table so each one has two in it i ordered two of these so i have four bushes of peonies and then I'm, I'm having shades of yellow in my house, if you didn't know now, <laughs> for the uh, spring and summer. So I found this wonderful, pretty uh, throw here. It's going to be in my family room as well. Let me put it back in the box. Now, I'm going to link uh, down below these items so if you're interested in them you can click on the link and go right to them and find them if you're interested in these any of these items that I have purchased from Amazon now also what I found on Amazon are my pot holders I like them because they have the sticky on the front it makes it a little easier to grab stuff so I think that's going to be nice it also came with the mitt it also has the sticky on the front it came with the dish towels, four in yellow and four in white and yellow. I mean, two in white and yellow and two in yellow. And then um, the cup towels is one yellow and one white and yellow. Now, I thought this set was really pretty because I'm doing the shades of yellow. And I thought it was really, really pretty. So that's the set I got from there. Let me put these back in here trying to keep the spring stuff together so I don't misplace anything until I get ready to use it then I purchased what is that, another set of pillow covers yeah I know I know I've got these here it comes in a set of two and I get them from this company here let me see. Let me put the pillow cover behind it. You may be able to see it better. I get it from this company. My pillow covers from them because they're kind of, um, I want to say kind of suede, I guess you want to say them. But these pillow covers I get here, they are 18 by 18. And they are the smaller ones. Yes, I get 18 by 18 as my pop of color. That's what I get these for. But in my family room, I use uh 20 i think they're 20 by 20 or 24 by 24 i have four of those and i keep them neutral colors that way uh no matter what season it is i still have that neutral color that i'm using to go with the floor of the room and then all i do is add an accent color 
to it, which is one of these. And I think I showed you all that pillows that I pillow covers that I use. What I'll do is I'll insert a pillow, a picture of it here. What I'll do is I'll insert a picture of it here. So you can see the neutral pillow covers that I use. And I think they're 24 by 24. Now, still have some more from Amazon. That's why my husband says I need to own stock. Let me move this box behind me. All right. Now, I do a Mardi Gras tablescape every year because my husband's from Louisiana. I try to make sure I incorporate some things that from Louisiana when I do stuff at home. So for years, I've been doing the, 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 the Mardi Gras tablescape challenge. And I always try to do the front porch to do Mardi Gras. And I've been using this big mask and I put the, you know, the, the, um, what you call it? The, oh, the mesh. I have the mesh around it. And I want to try something different because it's so huge. I wanted something smaller, but something that represented Mardi Gras. Well, I was looking on Amazon and I found this page where they had uh, some doormats and things. Well, they had this mask. Now, this is a door. It hangs on your door. It has a little hoop thing behind it where you hang it on your door. Right here is a little ring here that you hang it on your door. Let me put it back down so she can lay down right in the package. It has the bells on it on the bottom here and the ribbons to hang on the door. I think it's really cute. They also have a flag to go with this, but I already have a Mardi Gras flag. So I want to put this out to incorporate with it. What was it that fell on me? I hope my sound is right. If it ain't, I'm about to go over it. Okay, so I got that. Now, that company also sells something that I have been eyeballing for a while now. And I've been wanting to try it. And so I finally made up my mind to go ahead and purchase it. Now, what it is, is a doormat. <laughs> now, here's a rubber doormat right here. But as you see, it has this insert right here in the middle. Now, what it comes with, it comes with a set of four, four inserts. You can get them for seasons or holidays, however you want to get it. So the first one I got were like, um, I want to say holidays. So we have Valentine's. We have St. Patrick's Day. We have the 4th of July, and I want to say Memorial Day, or is it Labor Day? Memorial Day, here for the vets. And then we have Easter, here. Now you can also buy separate individual inserts, and you can also buy inserts, like I said, you can buy another mat with inserts in it for your seasons. Well, they had a Christmas one on sale, so I couldn't bag it up. I couldn't leave it because you know your girl's a snowman girl. So they had this snowman mat on sale. So I purchased a snowman mat to go in my insert because I really wanted to get this mat. I've been looking at it for a long time and I thought it made a little more sense to me instead of me buying the big door mats and keep pulling them out every year. But if I had the little insert, which is very small, you see how small that is? It's very small. I can take this and put this in this bin where I keep the items at. And then when I pull out my bin for the year, here's this small thing that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And all I do is take it and put it in the insert on side on this mat. And this mat will save me a lot of money. This mat was like this package here was forty seven dollars and. You look at uh, what you pay for your mats for summer, spring, fall, for Valentine's and any other holidays, Mother's Day, all those, whatever holiday or season you want to get a mat for, you know, you pay at least between eight and twenty five, maybe thirty dollars for a doormat. So I thought, well, if I can get a set for 
four holidays and four seasons. And it's only like $47 for both. And all I do is pull out an insert. And it doesn't take up that much space. I thought that was a great deal. So I'll also link this down on the bottom in the, in the description. So you can go take a look at their site and look at these items because they have flags to match a majority of these um, inserts. Well, a lot of these inserts I already have flags for because I bought a package of flags on Amazon. Um, I think it was maybe two years ago. So I'll also link that down below. So you can look at the different flags uh, from the company that I purchased. I have them in sets and you can order those as well. Now I'm going to set this up and I'm going to show you how it looks with one insert in it. So you can see what I'm talking about as far as how the mat, the mat looks. Now I'm going to do Valentine's because that's the one I'm getting ready to decorate for Valentine's Day. Now here's the mat with the insert. You see how pretty that is? It's so pretty and I thought that was so clever that you keep the same mat and you put that insert in for each holiday. And they have different ones that you can pick from. I just particularly picked this one because I like the set, but you can get individual ones and you can get a set for holidays and for seasons. It's all up to you. But I think this to me made more sense for me to try to save space. So I think that is everything that I purchased. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's everything that I purchased here in the last couple of weeks that I've been piling them up. Do y'all do like I do? Let me know. You pile it up, you buy it, you put it to the side, put it to the side, put it to the side and get you. Um, and you notice you have a big mountain of stuff you purchased and you know you need to make that video. So you can put those things up because I kept looking at the pile and going, girl, when are you going to put that stuff up? You know, you need to put that stuff up and quit letting that pile just go over there. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. And then I need to buy. I need to buy two more storage bins, one for. Um, I know I need to probably buy another one for spring because I bought all this extra stuff for spring. So I know I need a bin for spring and I'm going to need another bigger bin for Mardi Gras because I had Mardi Gras in a small bin. Well, no, I think that will fit in with what I already have, I think. But I know I need another one for spring and I might need another bin for yeah, I'm going to need another beam for Valentine's because I bought more junk. Yeah, I have a problem, but I love it. <laughs> I love doing my shopping. I love decorating my home and getting it to, you know, sometimes you can't always start off like you want to. You have to take baby steps to get your home to where you want, because I don't know anybody that can afford to go out and buy everything that they dreamed of to fix their room with. That can be a lot of money. And I know we all, you know, with this pandemic and everything that went on, there's a lot of things that you have to wait so long for when they, you order them to come in. And you take your time. If you take your time and get what you want, everything will look just fine. Now, my budget is not, you know, some of those fancy stores, Z Gallery and on up and some of those other furniture stores. I can't afford that. My pocket don't say that. But I did get my husband. And I went and got some uh, Italian leather furniture. We had to compromise. I wanted a neutral color. He wanted leather. So I got the neutral color that's leather that is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Comfortable enough where I have fallen asleep in those chairs, okay? Because they are recliners and I love them. And then the tables, the glass tables that I got in my family room. Um, I wanted glass. I wanted this other one, but he saw this set and it actually, first I was a little annoyed. You know you would be. But then when I got here and I started decorating the room, I actually loved the set. 
It gives me more creativity, more things to think about, to how to look and sit. And I sit and look at it as I get each item that I've purchased so far to decorate with. And it actually looks really nice to me now. So I'm getting everything in, in plan because if Lord bless and say the same, May, June, we should be looking to purchase our own home. Our purchase, our idea was to buy a home right before the pandemic started. So that halted all of that for the pandemic. And then last year, my husband became ill and my mom became ill. And then the ice storm in Texas is just, last year was just a blur to me. You know, I thank God that we made it through the pandemic and nobody in our immediate family passed from COVID. And we're blessed that everyone is still healthy and well. So your girl, I know I went everywhere from Valentine to spring, back to Valentine's to spring, but I did order quite a few pieces and I'm still waiting on, I think three more things to come in the mail that I ordered maybe four, but also too, I am um, holding out. I promised my husband that I wouldn't get them yet. I will wait a little while. So I'm waiting about two, maybe three more weeks and I'm gonna order me some end table lamps. So when I'm ready to get the end table lamps, when I purchase them, you know I'm gonna share them with you because my end tables need lamps and I got the sofa table lamps but I want some for the end tables because you know I'm redoing the family room. And after the end tables lamps, the next thing will most likely, I don't know if I'm gonna get new curtain rods next. I'm trying to get the small stuff before I do anything big. Um, the big item that I will purchase will most likely be an area rug. And I think I will wait a month or so before I purchase an area rug because I'm trying to do things a little different this time. I'm trying not to just get something that I don't want and then be unhappy about the purchase and stick it into some other room or something or give it to my daughter. So I'm trying to find the right rug that I want to go in the family room. But I think, I don't know if I'm gonna get the rug next or the entertainment center, because I do want a, I want an entertainment center, but the clash is with me is my end tables and coffee table and sofa table, they are chrome and glass and acrylic. Now the legs are acrylic, the clear acrylic. So I wanted the entertainment center to kind of match that to be chrome, acrylic, glass, but I also wanted uh, some kind of doors on it so I could put, you know, movies and things like that in there and have stuff you want to put away so it don't be seen. So I don't know how that's going to work but I am looking for something just a little bit different, but I have found one that I think might go, but like I said, I'm taking my time to make sure I purchase what I want as far as the entertainment center is concerned, because I want it to be, um, to flow with everything that I'm doing in here. I want everything to kind of like, when you see it, it just flows. I don't want nothing to be er, that don't match. I want it all to flow and to be perfect because uh, if Lord bless and say the same, we will be looking for a house come May and um, everything that I purchase will be going into the new place. That's why I'm kind of hold up on the area rug because I'm not sure if how big the room will be in the new place. So the entertainment center and the sofas and the tables that will go, but I'm not sure about the area rug as of yet, but I am think I'm going to get curtain rods next and uh, my lamps, my sofa table lamps.
I want to make sure I have a lot of the stuff first before we move. So when I move, it won't be running to go buy furniture to fit here or this there. I'll have what I want for that room. If you get what I'm saying, I, I like to try to be a little bit ahead of myself. So when I move, it won't be a rush to spend a whole lot of money to go and purchase things that I really don't need. That I'll just be getting stuff to put there to cover that spot. If you get what I'm saying, I like to be a little prepared. That's why some things that I am getting now that I know when we move that will fit perfect for my plan on how I want things to look. Like, when you're, you know, if you're in your own, you can paint, you can change, and you can do all those things. And so my goal is to, when we move in our own, that I can paint the family room and add to it or take away from it like I want and make everything flow and so forth with the breakfast nook. The breakfast nook is right now is the way I want it, except for that mirror. I need something with that mirror. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that mirror in there, but it is what it is. And in the formal dining room, I want an area rug to go under the table, but I'm waiting for that as well. So I think that is everything that I purchased. I think it is. I think it's everything that I purchased here in the last couple of weeks that I've been piling them up. Do y'all do like I do? Let me know. You pile it up, you buy it, you put it to the side, put it to the side, put it to the side and get you um, and you notice you have a big mountain of stuff you purchased and you know you need to make that video so you can put those things up. Because I kept looking at the pile and going, girl, when you going to put that stuff up? You know you need to put that stuff up and quit letting that pile just go over there. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. And then I need to buy. I need to buy two more storage bins. One for. Um, I know I need to probably buy another one for spring because I bought all this extra stuff for spring. So I know I need a bin for spring and I'm going to need another bigger bin for Mardi Gras because I had Mardi Gras and a small bin. Well, no, I think that will fit in with what I already have, I think. But I know I need another one for spring and I might need another bin for yeah, I'm going to need another bin for Valentine's because I bought more junk. Yeah, I have a problem, but I love it. <laughs> I love doing my shopping. I love decorating my home and getting it to, you know, sometimes you can't always start off like you want to. You have to take baby steps to get your home to where you want, because I don't know anybody that can afford to go out and buy everything that they dreamed of to fix their room with. That can be a lot of money. And I know we all, you know, with this pandemic and everything that went on, there's a lot of things that you have to wait so long for when they, you order them to come in. And you take your time. If you take your time and get what you want, everything will look just fine. Now, my budget is not, you know, some of those fancy stores, Z Gallery and on up and some of those other furniture stores. I can't afford that. My pocket don't say that. But I did get my husband. And I went and got some uh, Italian leather furniture. We had to compromise. I wanted a neutral color. He wanted leather. So I got the neutral color that's leather that is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Comfortable enough where I have fallen asleep in those chairs, okay? Because they are recliners and I love them. And then the tables, the glass tables that I got in my family room. Um, I wanted glass, I wanted this other one, but he saw this set and it actually, first I was a little annoyed. You know you would be. But then when it got here and I started decorating the room, I actually love the set. It gives me more creativity, more things to think about, to 
how to look and sit and I sit and look at it as I get each the item that I've purchased so far to decorate with and it actually looks really nice to me now so I'm getting everything in in plan because if Lord blessings say the same May June we should be looking to purchase our own home our purchase our idea was to buy a home right before the pandemic started so that halted all of that for the pandemic and then last year my husband became ill and my mom became ill and then the ice storm in texas is just last year was just a blur to me you know i thank god that we made it through the pandemic and nobody in our immediate family passed from COVID, and we're blessed that everyone is still healthy and well so I need to quit blabbing and let you know that I am so grateful for my oldies and I am so grateful for the new ones who have come in. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing my YouTube and improving things and I hope you have something here that you've enjoyed as well. Now, let me know down below what you think of my haul from around the world. <laughs> Your girl went from season to season, but hey, I try to get ahead of the game. So let me know what you think of my haul down below. You know, I enjoy reading your comments and as always, you be blessed. If you want to see more, click the video here or the link below and you'll be blessed.